assembled here today to cheer on the Wolverines already chanting Go Blue. This is not just a regular matchup. Battle of top 10 teams, two teams colliding early in the season. One team can make a strong statement about the season ahead. As we'll see the number three team in the country, the Texas Longhorns, taking on the eighth ranked team, the Michigan Wolverines. 3A Sports College Football, I'm Chris Bauer here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. The Longhorns will kick this deep to start us off. Fields it inside the five-yard line. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. So the Michigan Wolverines offense comes on the field first today. We'll see if this quarterback can get off to a great start. Kirk, so much for this offense and this whole team, really, orbits around him. Yes, sir. The de facto Mr. Center of the Universe. It's his world when he's out there. And it's up to him to create and orchestrate the details on the field. His team, his way. Can't wait to see what he does today. Quarterback takes off now, looking to scramble. And the junior quarterback shows his toughness, keeps this drive moving. Man, nothing is more aggravating for a defensive coordinator than this right here. You've got him. You've got a chance to make a play on him, take him out of his rhythm, but instead, this guy gets away from that pressure, tucks in, and picks up some big yards. Penalty gives the offensive coordinator a little bit more room to work with now. The offense starts with a first and five after that penalty. To throw, it's Orgy. The pocket breaking down. And the junior gets home, making a sack there. It just looked like the quarterback was holding on to the ball a bit too long that time, allowed the defense to be able to get the pressure, and they come up with a first sack of the game. The offense will look to regroup here at second and 11. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. They look to throw it here on second down. The sure hands. It's more. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. That's a nice completion here by this Michigan offense. And when Michigan is really clicking, you think about over the years, they've been efficient within that passing game. Being able to throw the football to complement a very physical running game. Nice play. Hooks up two, so it's second and eight. Hey, it's a great job of this defense containing the running game. But if I'm calling the plays, I'm not abandoning the running game just yet. I think it's important to have some sense of balance. So throwing and running is essential. Stick with it. Takes the handoff here, looking to throw it. Nice grab. It's Morris. Finding some room at the 25. Tackle made, but there's a flag down on the field. Oh, 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 oh. Costly holding penalty there. Backs him up 10 yards. Second down play coming up. Scanning the field, it's Orgy. Hit as he releases it, and the pass ball is incomplete. Can they keep this drive going, trying to convert on third down now? Here's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. There's contact on the throw. Incomplete. He was hit as he threw the ball. That's a big third down defensive play. The Wolverines will line up to punt it away. Gosh, I, I just love to watch this defense fly around. Great job here on third down. Look at it. You're on the road. Things are going against you early in the game. And you block all of that out. And you're running around with confidence making plays. The Longhorns offense takes the field. Our first chance to see them today. If there's one guy on this defensive side, Kirk, who can be a game wrecker, it's this elite pass rusher. Very much on the quarterback's mind today. Yeah, Chris, but it's going to be very tough. This quarterback does a nice job of moving around the pocket. And also, he's going to have an awareness of exactly where this guy is and have a clock in his mind about how quickly that ball needs to get out.
Get some space around the 30. And it's good for a first down to the 36. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense loved to play the RPO game. And here early, they pick up some big yards. A handoff from the shotgun. And the tackle is made after a four-yard game, so second and six. Nice, solid run here by this back with a nice job of just kind of finding that lane, pick up some positive yards here on first and ten. Trying to find some room. It's Baxter. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Chris, this is what I love to see from a defense. Here's the linebackers are scraping, doing their job, but you need help from the secondary. And when you have aggressive tacklers on the back end, you got a great defense. This time, the secondary makes the difference. They stop him for a two-yard gain, which will bring up four down. One Lawrence will have to kick this away. That's the first punt of the afternoon for this offense. is back on the field. They were forced to punt it away last time, so let's see if they can get clicking in this possession. First play of the drive, we're going to throw the football. Gets the ball off as he's hit, but it's incomplete. Important second down play coming up. Trying to flex the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. Caught over the middle. It's Loveland. Oh, and he's in the clear now. It's a foot race. Crosses the 10. Touchdown, Wolverines. This quarterback on fire today. Such a well-designed play here by this offense to find a way to get the ball to the gifted tight end. He's got the size, he's got the speed, he's a difficult matchup, and here he shows he's got the speed to take it all the way into the end zone for that touchdown. So they'll try to add to the lead now to the PAT. PAT is good. They jump in front, 7-0. Now they get set to kick it away. So no return here. He takes a knee in the end zone, and they'll begin the drive at the 25. The Longhorns offense takes the field. They came up empty on the last possession, forced to punt it away, and they begin to click now. From the shotgun, handoff inside. The junior able to bring him down quickly. Well, another short game for this offense on the ground, and you got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They have really negated that aspect of this offense the entire first half and really making them one dimension. And if that doesn't change, I don't know how they get back into this game. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Hey, this defense continues to just be physical. It's a line of scrimmage. Offense can't do anything on the ground. And by doing that, this defense is allowing their defensive front to get pressure on the quarterback. Every time they drop back to throw, they become a one-dimensional offense. Tackled at the 44, but good enough for a first down. What a clutch play here by this offense to convert on third down. I know it's still early in this game, but the fact that they dug themselves a hole to convert there and keep this drive alive, they got a new set of downs and a chance to dig into this lead. They'll run it to the left. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Offense coming to the line. They might have a chance for a couple more plays before we reach the end of the quarter. 
Looking to pass. It's yours. Fought near the sideline, but just a short game. And they get him down after the completion. So Kirk, Michigan has the lead here at the end of the quarter. And at the end of the first quarter, let's check out the stats so far. Plenty of time for some plot twists here as we begin the second quarter. We begin the quarter with a crucial play. Often setting up for this third down. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. That's reeled in. It's golden. They'll stop him short. The completion gained five yards, but brings up fourth down. Longhorns will bring their punt team onto the field. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. And this punt heads toward the sideline. Doesn't travel very far. And the punt will go out of bounds, taking the returner out of play. And the Michigan offense back out on the field. They punched it in the last possession. Can they do it again, or will this defense make some adjustments to get a stop? Pass ball is incomplete, but there's a penalty mark. So let's check out that. He knows the receivers. He knows the offense. Pretty easy call for the head coach. He will accept that penalty, of course. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? So early movement from the offense. That'll push him back five. False start. start. Offense. Offense. And the head coach will decide to accept the penalty and take the yardage. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Here's the snap. Looking to throw here. Cut quickly. And they bring him down. That's a very solid gain, but still well short of the market. This is an example of a quarterback and his offense just taking what the defense gives you. Not a huge play, but positive yards. The defense wants to give that throw to you. you take it. Get the ball to your receiver. Stay ahead of the sticks. That completion sets up a second down play. Looking to throw. It's Orgy. Bringing pressure. Oh, they've got him for a sack. A big play made by the junior. Well, the defense would not be denied on this play. They come up with a sack. Quarterback really didn't have much of a chance at all. Lucky he just held on to the ball. Drops back. Looking to throw for it on third down. And this is dropped. Would have been a huge game, but he could not collect it. The Wolverines will send the punt team onto the field. Well, Chris, obviously they had to go through the air there to try to pick up this third down and long. But when you're so far behind the chains, well, you really allow this defense to dictate things. And it allows them to put pressure on your quarterback and can affect the timing, as we saw on this play. Look at throwing here to start the drive. The tight end makes the catch downfield. They make the tackle, but that's an excellent game. Moves the ball to the 33. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. Caught behind the line. It's blue. They stop him at the 22. This offense in great scoring position now. The offense finally producing here. Sets up a first and 10. Defense kind of lost the running back here. Makes a nice catch and gets the first down in the process. Picks up three yards, so second and seven. The Longhorn took it a cash in this red zone trip. Quarterback wants to throw it on second down. That's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact. No flag brings up third down. And the crowd coming to life here trying to help this defense down in the red zone. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. And he breaks the tackle on the way to a solid game there. So a no field goal try here. And Coach keeps the offense on the field to go for it on fourth down. 
looking for some space. It's Baxter. He'll get the first down yards before they finally bring him down. That's just mano y mano right there. Offensive line does their job, gets a nice surge there, and the back does what he needs to do to pick up the first down. He'll try to run it in on first and goal. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. Chris down here inside the 10-yard line. He's a tough yards to come by. Positive yards. Good push inside there by that offensive line. Second down and goal upcoming. Fresh coverage now from the secondary. And off inside, looking for the touchdown. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, they get stopped here on second down. It's going to bring up a third and goal situation. And from this far back out, wouldn't be surprised to see them go through the air. Just don't want the quarterback to take a sack here. Make sure he gets the ball out of his hands quickly. Third down here. Time for perhaps one more play before the two-minute warning. So we reach the two-minute warning as this offense tries to take the lead here before halftime. Trying to throw for it on third and goal. And the pass is incomplete just across the goal line. So the coach will decide to settle for three points here. Out comes the field goal unit. So it'll be a chip shot from the right hash mark. And that is no good. And after the miss, still down by seven. Oh, off the upright there. Boy, he hit it clean. It was end over end. I thought it had a real chance. The ball just kind of kept moving on him. And then, doink, right off the upright. And the Michigan offense comes back out on the field. They're trying to build on their lead. They were forced to punt on the last possession. So the first play of the drive here coming up. Less than two minutes left on the clock. Fires it to the wideout. Easy throw to a wide open receiver downfield. And they'll move the six on that one. It's a first down at the 42. Well, you can tell the quarterback knew exactly what he wanted to do with the football. He was going to that in route no matter what. He hits it for a nice game. One play, and they're already past the 40. First and 10. Dropping back. It's Orgy. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play. Brings up second down. Man, Chris, I don't know if that was a bad read by the quarterback or a bad route by the receiver. they got to get this cleaned up before the next time they go through the air. The completion sets up a second down. And the quarterback, we're going to make a play through the air. He's moving out of the pocket. The sophomore able to get home with the sack. He's going to lose yardage there. Force out of bounds. Great play by the defense. This is good pressure by the defense, but it just felt like the quarterback was holding on to the ball a little bit too long, which allowed the defense to get home. Now from the 40, the offense faces a third and long to keep this drive going. And he pulls in the catch. What out of the 46, good enough for a first down. What a nice find there by the quarterback on third down. One of the most telling stats for me at the end of the game is how you do on third down. Being a good third down team is invaluable to your team's offensive success. That's why you drill it so much in practice. He fires this throw and is intercepted. It's a fumble. They scoop up the ball. It's still a live play here. Chris, have you ever seen a play where you have two turnovers on one play? Great job with the interception. The defense has the ball only to try to make too much happen. The ball's on the ground, and then the offense gets the ball back. First and ten. Catch your breath after that. This pass rush has been a problem. Another sack sets up second and long. Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. Let's a fly out of the wideout. Grab down the middle. It's Moore. That's a big game. The offense is threatening that spot. The ball at the 22. Well, a lot of times college quarterbacks get more comfortable working to the outside. Here's an example of a quarterback with a full field read, and he hits a big play in the middle. First down and 10 now. Easy. To throw, it's Orgy. Quarterback delivers complete to the right side. And he shoved out of bounds with the defense and short of the first down marker. Well, the running back that time just kind of sneaks out of the backfield and shows his hands on that nice catch. Here we go. Second down, we're going to throw it. 
He's got it near the end zone. He's tackled right after the catch, but the offense really threatened first and goal at the five. And the Wolverines hoping to punch it in here. They have first and goal. He's got it right near the end zone. He's swarmed by the defense. The offense will quickly spend a timeout here after the play. Well, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. Goal line formation for the defense. Trying for the touchdown on the right side. Running toward the end zone, but the defense forces a fumble. Offense recovers the fumble, maintains possession. You know, the offense will call a timeout. Some the coach didn't like about this. Crucial play coming up. So the offense looking to be efficient here. Not much time remaining before the end of the half. Looking to throw on third and goal. Has caught. Can he get in? And he scores! Touchdown, Michigan! Man, I love running backs that can hurt you on the ground and through the air. The defense this time just underestimates his ability to catch the ball, and then the speed afterwards, it's a touchdown. Now the all-important extra point. With the extra point, the lead is 14. So an important touchdown just before halftime. Not much time for the opposing offense to try to answer before the break. He's going to bring this out a few yards deep in the end zone. He's tackled at the 17, so it would have been better to leave it in the end zone for a touchdown. Just eight seconds remaining, it'll be first and ten. Handoff here from the shotgun. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Guys, tough to beat the pageantry and quality of play so far today in Ann Arbor. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. For now, let's get back to the guys in the booth to start up this second half. will kick this away to get the second half going. He's going to bring it out of the end zone from a couple yards deep. Solid coverage there. They get him at the 15. That's where the offense will take over. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. And this crowd coming to life here trying to help the defense get a stop with the offense pinned back. And they get the second half started with a running play. A quick juke. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play call, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. And from the shotgun, an inside handoff. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. One wants will crank up the tempo. How about this defense? Just so physical against the run. These guys have not been able to do anything on the ground, and it's because of that defensive line and those linebackers taking away the run game. Makes a quick grab. He shreds the tackle. Heads out of bounds after a solid game, more than enough to pick up a first down. 
Longhorns lining up here on first and ten. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. Nowhere to run. Look for Allen for no gain. This is a great job of being prepared by this defense. Almost anticipating this play. They're in position to bring him down for a loss. Second down play coming up for this offense. Play action fake looking to throw. That's reeled in. It's bolded. Receiver brought down after a short pitch and catch. Urgency now for the offense that hates it come up empty on this drive down multiple scores. Running play called on third and short. Spinning out of the tackle. Stop right near midfield. It'll be a first down. Well, that shows you the trust they have in their offensive line in this running game to get to a third down. Just trying to come up with a way to be able to keep this drive alive, keep hope alive that you can come back in this game. You rely on old reliable in that offensive line. And he busts loose right down the middle. It's a foot race. They're not going to get him. He's in. Touchdown, Longhorns. Chris, how about that? A quick slant that goes for this many yards and a touchdown? That's what's so dangerous about this quarterback and wide receiver. Quarterback puts the ball right on the money, and by doing so, look at the receiver. Catches it in stride and has all that room to run after the catch for that touchdown. Kicking team out for the PAT drive. You make the extra point, cut the lead to 14-7. The kickoff team on the field now is a get set to send this one away. And he'll just take a knee. Drive will start at the 25-yard line. And the Wolf Leeds offense is back on the field. The last possession was a passing game clinic that moved it right down for a touchdown. Can they keep it going? And now the handoff. Got the first down, now looking for more. Finally out of bounds after a solid game, but there is a flag on the field. So let's check this out. That one hurts. Backs him up 10 yards. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Back to throw. It's Orgy. Catch made on the left side. The defense all over it. They stop him right at the line. Well, this is exactly what you want to see from the defense. Yeah, you give up the catch, but you're right there to be able to stop this receiver from making any yards after the catch. Offense getting set. It's second down. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. And it's the senior getting home with the sack. Well, let's face it. They dug themselves a hole in the first half, but I'll tell you what. They're coming out with a new look and a new energy here to start the second half. The offense with some pre-snap motion. Now in third and very long, looking to throw. And they hit him just as he releases the ball. It's incomplete. Well, I love to see this quarterback sit in there and take the hit. But man, he's got to do a better job of recognizing where to go with the ball and just throw it away. You can't throw it into double coverage. And the Longhorns offense takes the field. They scored a touchdown in their last possession. Let's see what this defense can make adjustments and prevent that this time. That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. Defense does a really nice job here of being able to contain that run game, help him just with two yards. Chris, to me, this changes the playbook a little bit now for the offense. The guy calling the plays at second eight, that's a different deal. Now he's got to probably thinking about going through the air instead of staying on the ground. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? And now the running back's got it again. And the defense smothers him for no gain. Well, the defensive line does their job eating up those double teams, freeing up the backers to make the play. 
So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. Here's a fumble way behind the line of scrimmage. No turnover. Offense recovers the fumble. The Longhorns are bringing their punt team onto the field. Well, just like running backs, quarterbacks, when they decide to pull the ball down and run, they've got to protect it. He left it out away from his body exposed, and it got knocked away. He's very fortunate he had a teammate who was able to get on Personal top foul, of him. Foul. The kicker. The kicker. Defense. Defense. Pretty easy call for the head coach. He will accept that penalty, of course. So first and ten for the offense after a costly fourth down penalty on the defense. And the wideout goes in motion. Play action here on first down. Caught in the backfield. It's Baxter. Defense drops him for a loss. Tougher second down on play. Well, the defense does such a good job of taking any threat downfield away. All he can do is throw it to his back and loss of yards. Now you're behind the sticks. Here's the second down play. Three snap motion from the receiver. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Able to fight for a decent gain here in that running play. I think this defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football. And by doing that, they're opening up running lanes. Good positive yards there by the running back. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Grab behind the line. It's Golden. He stopped short of the marker, so it's fourth down now. Longhorns will look to convert here on fourth down. Here we go, fourth down. They'll try to run for it. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. Offense comes up to the line. They might have a chance for a couple more plays before the quarter expires. First down, they are going to throw the ball. Intercepted right near the end zone. What a play. Brought down after the takeaway, a big play by the defense to end this quarter. So far, we've been treated to a duel of big play wide receivers. These guys have been putting on a show, piling up the highlights through three quarters. So here we go, first play of the quarter. The offense has a first down. From deep in their own territory, looking to throw the ball. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived the same time as the football. And now it's second down. Dropping back. It's Orgy. Running back grabs it on the screen. Heads out of bounds as a short gain on play. Chris, it's another nice pick up through the air. I, I thought they might be really just about to run the football here with the lead. But instead, they're electing to throw the football. Different routes, quarterbacks in rhythm. Well, it's almost an extension of their uh, passing game. The short completion of the tight end. And the game will pick up the first down. Tackle at the 22. Well, the defense gets these guys to third down. They get a chance to get them off the field, and instead, they give up the first down. So the clock will continue to move, and the defense is really at the mercy of this offense at this point. He shreds the tackle. Tackle way behind the line. He'll lose six there. That back just had nowhere to go. Got to give credit to the defense and their run fits on that play. So from the 16-yard line, it's now second and long. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. Taking a shot here. 
and he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. They finally get him down. It's a big game. Ball moves to the 47. Man, the defense seems to be all about loading up to stop the run. They're creating some one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and the quarterback and receiver make them pay for it with a great play. Handoff as they try to work the clock here. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Man, I like the run play here, and offensively at this point in the game, you want to remain in that attack mode first while also staying in bounds and working that clock. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. Quarterback looking to pass here on second down. Not able to connect. Incomplete. They come to the line. A long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. On third down, he drops to throw. Looking for his big tight end. That's incomplete. They weren't afraid to let it fly, but... It brings up a fourth down. The Wolverines will line up to run it away. Boy, this is all about the defense here. Nice stop here on third down, but really it's about trying to get this offense behind the sticks. Once you get them behind the sticks, you can mix up your coverages, really affect the quarterback's eyes and disrupt the timing and the rhythm of what the offense is trying to do. Now we've got another big fourth down coming up. Looking to throw it on first down. Caught over the middle. It's Bond. They bring him down quickly, a short pitch and catch to get a little bit closer to the marker. Well, playing with the lead, good job by this defense to keep the receiver in bounds. Try to keep that clock moving, trying to secure a victory. Here comes the handoff. Run it up the middle, but stuff for no gain. Chris has just really been the story of the game. This defense has completely eliminated this offense's ability to run the football, made them one-dimensional, and that's why they haven't been able to put many points on the board. Dropping back. It's yours. Looking for the wideout. And it's complete downfield. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first down. This is a big conversion by this offense. They're down now in the second half. Probably limited opportunities at this point in the game. Every chance you get your hands on the ball, you need points. They keep this drive alive right here. And the defense swarms not much of a gain on that completion. Well, any time an offensive coordinator calls a wide receiver screen, he's trying to get offensive linemen out in front of the receiver to create a wall so that receiver can pick a lane to run through. How about the defense here, though? That's called team pursuit is swarming to the football. They didn't give him any lanes, so not much yards downfield for the receiver. One of the biggest plays we've had so far. Third down and the crowd really getting into it. Looking to throw again. Running out of time in the pocket. And the quarterback finds the tight end for the completion. The defense wraps him up after a six-yard gain. Brings up fourth down. Well, I thought we'd see this tight end all game long within this game plan, but that's just his second catch of the game. The defense has done a nice job of being able to recognize where he is and take him out of this plan. Fourth down. He's throwing for him. He's got it. Enough for a first down. They've got him, but they convert on fourth down, and the drive keeps going. Well, that's exactly when you want to go to your little or slot receiver, right? He gets a one-on-one -on -one matchup on fourth down, has all that room to work with in the middle of the field, get him the football on fourth down, come up with a conversion, keep those sticks moving. And we've reached now the two-minute warning. Sets up as a dramatic finish as this offense tries to grab the lead late here. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. Catch made on the out route. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. A fourth quarter down by a couple of scores. This offense doing everything they can to not just score points, but do it in a hurry, try to preserve the clock. Here, they're tackled in bounds. They don't pick up a first down. Good job with this defense to keep that clock moving. That completion makes it second and medium. The pass rush closing in. And he's hit right as he throws it. Incomplete. Well, this is it. Late in the game, really tight situation. This is what separates a good quarterback from a great quarterback. Can he come up with the play to keep this drive alive? To the air. It's yours. Quick throw, testing the middle. 
He makes the grab. Takes it all the way to the house. Touchdown, Texas. What a touchdown here with under two minutes to go. And the big question now, Chris, is do you kick this extra point to tie it up or do you go for two to potentially take the lead? Either way, the defense still is going to have to go out there and make some plays. Extra point is good. We're tied up. Sets up a tremendous finish here. The turn begins inside the 10. Tackled at the 22. Good job by the coverage team. Michigan offense back out on the field. They were forced to punt last time. Can they get this offense going finally? Get some points out of this possession. The offense with some pre-snap eye candy. First play of the drive, they come out throwing. Grab behind the line. It's Edwards. And he will be stuffed for no gain. Well, they're just fundamentally sound right where you want to be after the completion. Nowhere to go after that catch. Pulls it in. It's Morgan. And he'll make his way out of bounds after gaining decent yardage. Looks like a man is down on the field after the last play, so we'll take a timeout. So from the 28-yard line, it's a third and manageable here. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Snags a good throw. And the game just good enough for a first down. And the Wolverines come to the line to set a fresh set of downs. First down, looking to throw the football. Can't get it away. The defense has got him. What a huge stop at this stage of the game. If I'm on this offensive line, man, I do not want to see the game fall. This has been a tough game for the big boys. It appears almost like they've just been moonwalking the entire game. Catch made all the way down inside the 35. That is great arm strength and accuracy by this quarterback. Let's not forget the wide receiver's job of bringing it in for that big game. On the, the offense with one last chance to win it here, or we're going to overtime. Hand off to the single back. The gain is three yards. Brings up a second down and seven. Timeout called by the defense. They'll go to the sideline and try to adjust. That's their first timeout. And that completion, Kirk, puts him over 300 yards passing today. Yeah, any time a quarterback has a day like this, really, it all has to come together with the offensive line play, the receivers running these great routes, and he's just in sync. He's kind of in that zone right now. He'll be the first one to tell you how much his teammates have helped him out today. And now the defense will call a timeout here to make an adjustment on their side before this crucial play. So the offense faces third and short from the plus 26. Might be four down territory, but let's see what the call is here. Can he get there on the ground? They make the stop, but not before a solid game that time. And now the timeout is called by the defense. They've got some things to work out here. The Wolverines are in the red zone now. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, they run it right into a blitz, and that linebacker was coming downhill, Kirk. Man, what a time to call that blitz here by the defensive coordinator. And you're right. He shoots right through that A-gap. Really, the back had nowhere to go. By the time he got the ball in his hands, the linebacker's right in his face.
But you love to see a game where come down to the final possession. It was like, who's going to have the football last? And they were able to make plays and come out with a win. Yeah, not only the final minutes, but the final try. And that entire unit looked calm, cool, and collected. It was well called by their offensive coordinator, and this defense just couldn't stop them when they needed to. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.